All right, let's review one more thing about proportional relationships, and that's understanding graphs. When a proportional relationship is graphed, it goes in a straight line, and it will also pass through the order pair 0, 0, which also has a name. You probably heard of it before. It's called the origin. So let's look at these two graphs. Can you tell which one is a proportional relationship based on what we were just talking about? Well, they are both straight lines. That is very clear. But do they both go through the origin? The origin is 0, 0. And the first graph does go through 0, 0. But the second graph goes through 0, 18,000. Well, that's definitely not 0, 0. So that means the first graph is going to be proportional. And the second graph, well, it's what we would call non-proportional. How about this one? Can you tell which one is a proportional relationship? Well, this time, both graphs, Nick's earnings, Todd's earnings, they both go through the origin. But only Nick's earnings happens to be a straight line. And so that will make Nick's earnings the proportional relationship and Todd's non-proportional. And one more thing I want to remind you about graphs. If it is a proportional relationship, there is an ordered pair that is very important to remember, and that is the ordered pair when x is 1. Because when x is 1, the ordered pair found will give you the unit rate. So here we can see that Nick's earnings, when it's one hour, he earns $50, which means $50 per hour, which happens to be the unit rate. Now, would I also care what the point is for Todd's earnings? when it's one hour? Well, no, because Todd doesn't have a consistent ratio. You can see it's a zigzag pattern. We only have a consistent unit rate when it is a straight line going through the origin.